Well, today was a great day with the warm temperatures returning and meteorologist Kit Kloniger joins us now. And Kit, it seems like we didn't last long in the cold temps and what can you tell us about that? Yes, yeah, Shannon, we just had a stretch of 12 days below average temperatures here in mid-January, but overall the trend is that we're seeing shorter cold snaps, and some of the latest data from our partners over at Climate Central shows that that's actually a national trend. These graphs show the highest numbers of consecutive days below average are in the winter. Now, let's first look at Lincoln here. There was a, a peak of very long stretch of temperatures below average back in 1978, but even without that, the trend is that we are getting 10 fewer consecutive days below normal than we did 50 years ago. Also looking at North Platte's data on the other side of our viewing area, we see that same trend with those losing also 10 days. Now, Climate Central reports that of the 242 stations analyzed spread across the country, 232 experienced shorter cold streaks. That's 96 percent. And the average trend was a reduction in cold snap length by about five days. You can see that here in Nebraska was among the most drastic change across the country. This is one contributing factor to how our average winter temperature has actually increased by over three degrees in the last 50 years. Now, all of this is due to human activity and in increasing the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and those green, greenhouse gases as well. I'll have a link to this article and several others for you to further read on my Facebook page coming up later on tonight. In the meantime, all of your local forecasts coming up in a few short minutes.